Ho, 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 everyone, happy holidays. We've been gone for a minute, but we are back with some exciting recipes, delicious, colorful, and brunialicious recipes. How is everyone doing? So on today's episode, we are going to be making my loaded cabbage stew recipe. This is not your ordinary cabbage stew. So for this cabbage stew here, we have our shrimp, we have our corned beef, and we have our um, vegetables representing as always. So stay on and let's go to the kitchen and get this cooking started. All right, you guys, so here are our ingredients for the cabbage stew. We have onion, we have green pepper, we have our carrots and some garlic. We have our spices here. We have um, ginger, paprika, curry powder, we have our rosemary, bay leaf, and some shrimp that I will blend with some anise seed and cloves. And then we have our shrimp that I already seasoned with some salt and pepper. We have our pepper to taste. We have corned beef. We have one can of um, crushed tomatoes. We have our cabbage and we have our oil. So, All right, guys, so we'll put our onions and garlic in and let it cook a little bit till it gets translucent. Okay, so we'll season it with a little bit of salt and add in about a tablespoon of pepper and we'll let it cook a little bit and then we'll add in our tomatoes. We will add in our crushed tomatoes next and make sure you cook low to medium heat. So right now we're just going to let it cook and once it's done um, the oil will settle on top and then we'll add in our spices and everything. Okay, so here is our stew looking good. We'll go ahead and Add in our blended spices. All right, so in the meantime, while our stew is still cooking, we will go ahead and season our um, cabbage with some salt and water and let it sit for a little bit. And what this does is it will take the raw edge of the cabbage because we don't want to overcook our cabbage. So we'll just let it sit a little bit and then afterwards we'll just um, strain it and then once our stew is ready, we'll add it all together. So we'll grate in some nutmeg, now pepper, I mean nutmeg and black pepper noodle. Just love the smell nutmeg adds to your dish. We'll add our corned beef in next and just let that cook a little bit. And remember you don't want to overcook your shrimp so we'll wait a little bit for that. And one tip I'll give you guys is um, making this recipe, now remember everything pretty much has salt in it, shrimp has salt in it so you don't want to over salt your food so make sure you taste it before you add extra salt if need be. Cabbage. Cabbage is really good for you especially those who are looking to lose some extra weight after indulging over the holidays. This is a good recipe to make and let this uh, recipe also represent on your Christmas table, your Christmas dinner table. We'll add our cabbage and carrots next and remember we're still cooking on a low heat. Okay you want your flavors to marry together very well. Here's our shrimp going in. This is looking good guys, so bonialicious for the festivities. So we just let the shrimp cook and make sure your heat is still on low, okay? All right guys, so we're going to add in our um, cabbage right now. This stew is looking good. It smells amazing in here, oh my goodness. I can't wait to devour this. Give it a stir and let everything come together and then we'll cover it and let the cabbage um cook just for a few minutes not too long because remember that residual heat will cook it so here's our cabbage stew doesn't that look amazing so right now i'm just garnishing with some scallions and our basil to finish it this Christmas is brunialicious, Kiki. Make sure you make this dish. So we're going to um, do a taste test with some rice. Okay, Stay so tuned. Here is our brunialicious Christmassy stew, looking so good. We have some rice here. We're just gonna do a taste test with that. We want a little bit of everything. And get some carrot and some basil. Okay, so let me get some pepper. All right guys, so here is a delicious shrimp. You see that? All right, so here we go. Mm. This is, you have to make this guys. You have to subscribe if you haven't already done so. 
you have to subscribe turn on your notification bell okay, so we have to do one more with our carrots and our green pepper and our cabbage all right guys so this cabbage stew it the big keke i'm telling you it the big keke shrimp is juicy not dry at all vegetables still crunchy delicious and brunialicious please give me a big thumbs up if you are enjoying our videos so far like and share with your family and friends so we can all grow this community together until we meet again in the kitchen stay well stay out of trouble and be blessed also follow us on instagram and facebook as cooking with gifty thank you bye